Hello, in this video I want to show you how to use the add code block add-on and how to configure it in Anki. First let's get Anki and add a card. And what this add-on actually does, it, it, adds, it adds this code button here and when you press that it adds this text. So now let's check the card, what did it add? It adds just the text, nothing basically. So to get a nice formatting over here, you have to add your own styling here. If you're not into HTML or CSS, just copy whatever, uh, just copy what I paste in the video description, which is this pretty long text over here. And after we pasted that, you see that we got a much better formatting. So if you, let's check out how this looks in the end. So you just write something here and write something here and write something here and write something here. And we take another look at the card, then you see how this will work out. So this is the basic configuration you need to actually make the formatting work. Let's check something different out here. So let's add this again. And let's check what actually was added. And this was actually added. So if you remember what we just typed in, we typed in the code thing here. And this is because what's, we got this code thing over here, if you're not into HTML. If you want to change that, I will show you how to change some things later. Um, you see that we have a div here and another div here. The reason for that is if you add this code block and mark everything and then start to type, then it will actually delete one, one div over here. So the inner one, maybe not in every case, but sometimes this is the reason why I actually put this in two divs. So let's show you some more configuration options. When you hit the tools, add-ons, and the add code block, edit, then you see that you have more configuration options. So what this add-on basically does, okay, okay, restructured. If you click this code button over here, it will simply add this text into your field, as you just saw when we checked out the HTML view. And what is written on this button is simply presented here and the size of the button is simply presented here. So if you want to change anything of these values, for example, you don't want to have the class code, but another class, or you don't want to have code block to be added, but I don't know, ASDF or whatever, then you can just change it here. And if you're into Python a little bit or interested in programming a little bit, this is not much source code, so you might play around with it as well. Or what you could also do is, I we just configured this thing in our styling. You could actually directly put this styling in here. If you're a little bit to HTML, you might search for HTML and CSS. So you don't have to do the styling in your card or in your note. I don't know which is which. So basically this is it about the configuration. Now some cautions. You cannot undo what you insert here. So if I hit the code block and undo it um, by hitting control Z, then it doesn't work. So in case you have some very important stuff written here, mark it and then hit the code block, then it's gone, right? So use it with caution. I might update this in the future. Anyway, um, yeah, this is basically done. We're finished with the presentation of the add code block. Um, I would also like to give you a short preview on my other add-on, which is the text selector, which I updated to make it a little bit move more movable. Mm you might just check it out. It's not already uploaded though. Anyway, I don't want to confuse you. Thanks for watching and yeah.